What's up, y'all? Eric Johnson with a quick little video. For all you nerds out there, y'all might be getting some good news. Word on the campfire is that Jeff Collins might be fired today. Hell, y'all might bring Paul Jensen back. Y'all might need some help from former Georgia Tech, Tech coaches that can actually win y'all um, more than three games this year. But y'all did lose to UCF yesterday. They're a way better team than y'all. Uh, y'all did lose by 17 to them. It... I already said in one of my videos that Jeff Collins wasn't going to make it through the whole fucking season without him getting fired. You have the Georgia Tech big wigs in their um, over offices um, looking at Japanese hentai Pokemon pornos and just playing with Blade Blades and just playing with, you know, Pokemon cards. Maybe Yu-Gi-Oh. They might got the fire pieces of Exodia and they're going to most likely fire Jeff Collins. Um, later on this day in the athletic director, I don't even know his name. He's probably an um, unknown entity in the witness protection program. But this is how bad Georgia Tech's football team has been over the past couple of years. Paul Jensen didn't make it no better. And Jeff Collins, he didn't bring nothing to that fucking team. Just three wins each year for the past maybe three years that he's been a coach. I think he's been there for three or four years. I done lost count. As many L's as Georgia Tech has taken over the past couple of years, who's lost count? You know, I just lose numbers when you think about Georgia Tech. You know, with me being a Georgia fan, I know we went through our um, shit yesterday with Kent State. But Georgia Tech lost to UCF. They're a way better team than y'all. They got a better mascot than y'all. Y'all got that um, off-brand B from the Cheerios box out there dancing and prancing. And I made this... Um, thought and i thought of this as georgia tech fans being at home games and they're and they're seeing their team getting blown out you know getting their andrew gillum their booty hole blown out on the field offensively and defensively do they be paying the students to um stay at these games when they begin blew out or i don't know if it's some magic within that stadium because it is um sanford stadium north you know sanford stadium atl we own this stadium georgia has two Home, um, home college football home fields, Sanford Stadium in Athens, Georgia, and Sanford Stadium in Atlanta. I know they renamed the um stadium in Athens. They call it Vince Dooley Field or something, but I always call it Stanford North, or I might be getting that wrong. But we already know how this season is going to end for Georgia Tech. Jeff Collins most likely today will be fired. I don't know if they're going to make somebody the new head coach, interim head coach for the rest of the season. Then just see if they can uh, scout the um, the free agency field for coaches to come into Georgia Tech and actually try to get them um, six wins. They was talking about Deion Sanders coming in from Jackson State to be the coach for Georgia Tech. Ain't no amount of money or cocaine or anything else y'all can offer Deion Sanders will get him to leave Jackson State to go coach at Georgia Tech. All the star power, all the Nick Saban can go coach at Georgia Tech next year, and he still won't win those uh, that amount of games for, for um, Georgia Tech. That's how bad they fucking are. You got other teams out here winning games. Middle Tennessee dominated um, Miami yesterday, drugged them bitches across the field like a Bay Yang off Cynthia Cynthia G's big ass head. You know how when you get your ass whooped, like when some of these female project bitches be fighting and they just drag those Bayang wigs and just snatch them off their off they heads like Joel Osteen do at a church sermon or just get the Holy Ghost and just start going crazy? That's how Georgia Tech's football um, team has been. They don't care about football. I don't know. They're not a basketball school, nor is um, the University of Georgia a basketball school. We are foosball school. We care about winning. We care about national championships representing the ACC you know, in star caliber games and dominating, you know, teams out there on that field. But Georgia Tech, on the other hand, like, I don't know, man. It's just, they done lost their spirit. They done lost their soul when it comes to them actually playing football. And if they keep playing like this in the next coming years, I don't think Georgia Tech will actually have a football team, you know, to actually, you know, have pride. And I feel sorry for the actual Georgia Tech fans, well, some of them who actually live in, in the Atlanta era, area and always have to look downwards upon 
their big daddy, the Georgia, the Georgia Bulldogs, because you know Georgia runs the state, man. We're the best team in the state of Georgia. So, you know, I know Georgia Tech is like the little brother who always be getting wedgies, you know, by the bigger brother. You know, my big brother was Big's brother, used to be Damon Big's brother. But, you know, besides Kanye West actually being a good artist and Jay-Z being one of the, go- the goats in hip-hop, Georgia Tech's football team is like, I would say they're like the Benzino of the college football team, of the college football world. Let me um, reverse my words with that. Scratch that out of my own system. Georgia Tech is the Benzino of college football. You don't know why they're here, why they're trying to say anything slick, but they always have to be a laughing stock besides, you know, them actually getting their ass drugged by inferior teams sometimes. So that's all I got to say. Jeff Collins will lose his fucking job today, plus the athletic director, both of them motherfuckers, will be getting their walking papers, and they will be walking all by themselves. Don't want to be all by themselves. But, yeah, man, that's all I have to say. Like, share, comment, subscribe. So Georgia Tech fans out there, if you had a coach that would be the next coach of the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets, who would it be and why? And you have to start off with somebody that y'all can actually get. Don't be coming out here saying stupid, unorthodox, unorthodox random shit. Get a coach that will actually want to come to Georgia Tech and actually give y'all six wins or possibly even seven wins. Anything above that, y'all sniffing glue. That's all I have to say. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next video.